Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Right? Everybody doing good? Um, so I've been on like one of the coolest vacations ever. Um, and I'll tell you guys all about it. We'll let a couple people join up here. Um, and it's Sunday. Rejoice, right? It's the day of the Lord. So uh, we got we got a lot to be thankful for today, right? Um, is everyone here? Come on. Come on. Who's here? There's one. Carol. Good morning. You're the first one here. <laughs> so welcome. Um, where are you from, Carol? Jean, hey. Good morning. Where's everyone from? Let me know. Let me know what's happening. Good morning. <laughs> Florida. Nice. Just got back from Florida, as you know. Um, was down there at the St. Augustine uh, Songwriter Festival, which was amazing. Dustin, what's up? Oklahoma shortly. Oh, going to be in Nashville. Nice. Good morning from Kentucky. Mm, boom. A lot of my family's from Kentucky. My dad was from Kentucky. I don't know if I've ever told you that or not, Sandy, but my dad was uh, from Climax, Kentucky, um, right around the Berea area. And I still have family in London, Kentucky and Corbin, Kentucky. Uh, so uh, and and I think up in Lexington, too. So. Uh, I love Kentucky. I, I, I really do. I, I um, if. If I thought that maybe I could run my operation out of Kentucky, I would, man. It's just so the mountains and the rivers and stuff there. Mm, just love it. So we'll welcome everyone. Um, uh, I'll, I'll just kind of I'll just kind of get going today. I I, um, I was telling you guys when I first got on here that I just got back from just an incredible vacation with my son. Uh, which was priceless. Uh, we had been talking forever and ever and ever about going out to, uh, go, going out west, and he he just loves the redwoods. So we we uh, we flew into Medford, Oregon, and hiked there one day, and then drove down to the redwoods. And oh my gosh, we were at Jedediah Smith's. Um, park there and it was just amazing the redwoods mm -hmm. those giant trees were just fabulous and god's glory was just there for us to see and it was just amazing so um we did that and then after we got done going through several hikes for, uh, you know in the redwoods we headed on over to crescent city california because evan had never seen the pacific so we headed over there. Uh, that was wonderful. And then drove back, which was, I don't know, maybe four hours or so back for back to Medford, Oregon. And then the next day we went to Crater Lake. Oh my gosh, y'all. What a sight to see. Uh, it was basically a volcano at one time. Uh, a lot of people think that like a big meteor because it's like a big round circle maybe a meteor had hit it or something like that. Uh, uh, it's, it's where a volcano had erupted at one point and it kind of imploded and, and it's like the deepest lake in America. Bluest water you've ever seen. We hiked all the way up to this one mountain that was just unbelievable and saw everything. And it was just, it was an incredible trip. Um, one for the books for sure. And, uh, and then we flew back yesterday or the day before. And, uh, it was amazing. I, I mean, it, I, I don't, I don't think that it could have, well, it could have went a little bit better. Evan had a little bit of a cold, but other than that, we did good. So, um, well, let me see. Uh, so thank you, Oklahoma, shortly Nashville soon. Got that awesome live in Hopkinsville. Okay. About an hour 
or so from Nashville. Okay. All right. Um, I'm glad I had a good time too. You know, Evan, Evan just like loved it. He was like, Oh my God, dad, this is amazing. You know? Um, so yeah, you know, I, I think that, you know, I'm in this time in my life. I'm 54. Right. Um, Hey, Amy. Hello from East Tennessee. Well, hello there. Um, but I'm I'm at this time in my life where um, I want to get all the living in while I got it, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, I, I just feel that it's time, man. You know, while I've still got my health and uh, I just thank the Lord every single day, you know, I, I uh, my... I've got several friends of mine right now who are fighting some really bad illnesses. Uh, one, bless his heart, he's got cancer again. He came back, and uh, I, I don't know, man. Just all of this around me, it just it just hurts my heart, you know. And um, so I'm so so thankful. There's Denny Baker. Love you, baby. Um, so, but it just it just hurts my heart that these people are going through these hard times, you know, and um, so, and I know that they're coming for me too, you know. I, I can't I can't really like escape it. None of us can. I was seeing this TikTok today talking about how, um, you know, a hundred years from now. Most of everything that we've done here on this earth will be gone. You know, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll kind of be forgotten. I mean, because think about it. It's like, you know, do do you know the name of your great grandfather's uh, father? No, you know. Now, I, I could if I went on Ancestry.com and looked him up and that th this and that but but i'm saying that that things are forgotten all of the money is 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 handed down to you know other generations and everything that you got the car the beautiful car that you got or whatever the case may be it's you know it's handed down and you can't take any of that stuff with you man you know and i think that it's important that we live the best life we can live, be ambassadors for God, um, disciples of God, spread the good news, get ready to go where we belong, and that's heaven, right? Um, but, uh, you know, so normally on Sundays on Facebook, uh, I would do like a morning service or whatever, just to kind of and I've told this story many times, I, you know, I, I've lived my life like like the majority of my life for me, right? So I I, I went out on the road. I've, I've been a dreamer, and, and thank God some of those dreams have come true. Um, and I had some success with uh, the band Little Texas back in the day and then Hot Apple Pie and my solo career and all that kind of stuff. Um, so... I wanted to start doing things for God, you know, and 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 let him know that I appreciate all of the things that have been given to me. You know, I don't want to ever take him for, uh, for granted. And I want to give God all of the credit because that's where it all needs to go. And speaking of, by the way. Right. My book, God Bless Texas and Me Too. Um it's not, it's not like I'm plugging it. It was like actually here. Um, but, but basically this book kind of tells my story, uh, from the little Texas days on, if you want a copy, you can get it on Amazon or you can go on my website, uh, and get it there and, uh, and I'll sign it for you, send it to you. Right. But, um, I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe do some YouTube series about and just basically me reading my book, right? I don't know. But would you guys dig that or not? You look handsome today, love. Oh, man, see? That's why I have her around right there, man. Right? 
for her to for her to tell me how good I look. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I appreciate it. I didn't listen. I didn't even get ready. And as you can tell, boy, I got that beard starting to happen right there, man. I, I felt like a mountain man up in those mountains and uh, Crater Lake. But thank you, baby. Um, things are not what they used to be where everyone got together. Families did a lot together, but things are definitely changing. I miss all the times. You know, me too. Me too. I do miss all of those times. But I tell you, that's that's the reason why I wanted to take Evan on this trip. I wanted to get it while I got it before I rock it all away, you know. Um, but um, but back to this thing. So I'm going to start doing these series of of like maybe, you know, each each chapter, right? Each um, video that I do, each chapter of the book. Would you dig it? I don't know. But again, I'm only doing it because I want to spread the good news about God and how he's helped me. And maybe it'll help you. I don't know. You know, um, can't wait to get your book. Oh, well, thank you so much. Like I said, you can get it on my website, um, BradySeals.com. Right. Um, so speaking of my beautiful fiance um you know we uh i've, I've got I've, I've got a brand new single coming out uh it's a song that i that i wrote by myself and i wouldn't have written it if it hadn't have been for her and you know the conversations that we've had about um going out west her and i together so uh, pretty soon, she and I will be going out to maybe the Grand Canyon. We've always thought about going out to see the Grand Canyon, right? And um, so, but I wrote this song. And normally, I don't write songs by myself. I just don't. Um, but this one, I was, I, I think that I was someplace up north somewhere. I was just going, I was doing some acoustic gigs and I was by myself driving around and and this song title come to me just out of nowhere and um so I thought I would write it and I wrote it in this little Airbnb kind of place or whatever wherever they put me up or something um but I'll I'll, I'll play a little bit for you um this morning and um I won't play the whole thing but but it comes out October the 20th uh, you can get it on all the major streaming platforms and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it goes something like this. We're always talking about the West. And we'll make it someday. But not just yet. I see us riding on some passenger train. Along the canyons of an old railway Let's go before we're gone Cause we don't know the day we're leaving Or the night we'll fly on home Let's go before we're gone Nothing's promised in this world. Every breath is precious for you and me, girl. We shouldn't look back with regret. Let's drift like ramblers till our last sunset. Let's go before we're gone Cause we don't know the day we're leaving Or the night we'll fly on home Let's go before we're gone Let's go before we're gone
There you go. Do you dig? Hope, hopefully you dig. Um, so yeah, so that's the new single that's coming out. And, um, so hopefully, hopefully it touches you like it touched me. Um, and, uh, and hopefully it inspires some people to go do what you've always wanted to do, man. You know? Um, and, uh, cause listen, like I said in the song, every breath is precious for us, y'all, you know, we have to, uh, we have to seize the moment, right? Seize the day. Um, so well, I see Derek, Derek Carpenter in here. Did he leave? There, there, there he is. What's happening, Derek? Um, it's good to see you, my friend. Um, okay, so so let me kind of inform you guys a little bit about what's happening. Um, Seals and Crofts 2, which is a project that I do have have been doing for the last four or five years it's me and lua crofts dash crofts's daughter we go out and we play all of the hits of seals and crofts and all of that kind of stuff but we're going to be putting out a new single as well so be on the look at uh be on the lookout doing great man good Derek. good 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 to see you man um but we've got a lot of dates coming up. I'm, I'll, I'll put a, all of my dates on my website, bradyseals.com. Just click on the tour tab and um, and it'll show you where we're going to be and when we're going to be there. So uh, be on the lookout for that because brand new stuff, man. I mean, it's a brand new year coming. And like I told you guys before, I don't know who was here the last time I did a Facebook Live, but... Um, I, uh, I've been toying with the idea of putting together like some of song, like some of the songs that I've had throughout the years that never quite made it to a record because maybe they didn't quite fit the mood of the record, you know, but they were still cool songs, or at least I think they are. Um, so I think that I'm going to put all of that stuff in a compilation and release that as a record. Um, I've got like 250 songs, 300 songs or something laying around, man. So I, I got to do something with them. Right. I, I mean, they're, they're no good if they're just like being listened to by me and Denny and Evan <laughs> and Olive. <laughs> so, so I'm going to try to put them out there and just see, you know, see if uh, people dig them or not, you know, so be on the lookout for that as well. So, um, so I'm going to end this thing. Um, you know, I tell you, my my favorite Christian writer is Max Licato, y'all. Um, if you haven't checked out some of Max's work, I would highly suggest that you do. Um, I tell you, he has inspired me so much. He, he actually inspired me to write my book. Um, whenever I read his... Uh, well, and I mean, I guess you can call them just like some of them are memoirs. Uh, some of them are uh, just in just books of encouragement, you know, and, and he'll he'll like get on subjects like like anxiety or something. And he'll write a whole book about how God can help you through that anxiety and so on and so forth. But he has an incredible way of uh, of uh, phrasing things, you know, um, He's a word juggler, man. He's really, really good at it. Um, but, but you know, I again, I he he has uh, he's blessed me through his writings. So, so and again, speaking of blessing, it says blessing number one. We have peace with God since we have made right with God by our faith. We have peace with God, right? Peace with God. What a happy consequence of faith. Not just peace between countries, peace between neighbors, or peace at home. Salvation brings peace with God. Once a monk and his apprentice traveled with um, from, from the abbey to a nearby village. The two parted at the city gates, agreeing to meet the next morning after completing their task. According to plan, they met and began the long walk back to the abbey. The monk noticed that the younger man was unusually quiet. He asked him if anything was wrong. 
What business is, is it of yours? Came the terse response. Now the monk was sure his brother was troubled, but he said nothing. The distance between the two began to increase. The apprentice walked slowly as if to separate himself from his teacher. When the abbey came in sight, the monk stopped at the gate and waited on the student. Tell me, my son, what troubles your soul? The boy started to react again, but when he saw the warmth in his master's eyes, his heart began to melt. I have sinned greatly, he sobbed. Last night I slept with a woman and abandoned my vows. I am not worthy to enter the abbey at your side. The teacher put his arm around the student and said, we will enter the abbey together and we will enter the cathedral together and together we will confess your sin. No one but God will know which of the two of us fell. Mm, man, come on now. Doesn't that describe what God has done for us? When we kept our sins silent, we withdrew from him. We saw him as an enemy. We took steps to avoid his presence. But our confession of faults alters our perception. God is no longer a foe, but a friend. We are at peace with him. He did more than the monk did, much more. More than share in our sin, Jesus was crushed for the evil we did. The punishment which made us well was given to him, Isaiah 53, 5. He accepted the shame, Hebrew 12, 2. He leads us into the presence of God. Now listen, I don't know about you guys, man, but that hits me. That hits me. To know that we've got a master who will take on our sin as if it never happened, as long as we just confess it, man. You know, it's just a wonderful message for today. And, and I'm so, so grateful um, to be a child of God and, um, and thank God for Jesus for dying for our sins. Um, so I, I, that just... That's just there. And, you know, blessing number two, blessing number three. So go get you a Max Licato book. If you're feeling down, if you're if you're if you're having some issues in life, I promise you, Max has something to say. He really does. Um, so listen, I won't keep you guys too too much longer today. I really, really appreciate um, you guys checking in today. Let me see. Let me let me read a couple things here. My son and his girlfriend took a train trip here to California for a week, had an amazing time, had everything on the train they needed, and then stayed in California for a couple of days. Oh, man, that sounds like a ball. I mean, Evan loves trains, too, so we might have to do that, too. That sounds great. Thank you for the, doing the lives. It means so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. You guys are a blessing to me, too, you know. Um you know, this 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 whole YouTube thing has kind of, uh, like I said, the last live video is, you know, me getting used to doing this sort of thing is a little bit difficult because, listen, I'm just here by myself, you know, and I'm just hearing myself talk. Um, I'm not a vain guy, so I it's it's a little <laughs> it's a little different for me to. uh to do this sort of thing. But at the same time, I know that it might encourage somebody, you know, it might help someone. Um, so, uh, so that's why I do it. I really do. So keep my mom in your prayers. She's having trouble with her blood pressure. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jean. So sorry. Um, thank you. Thank you. Well, listen, if you want to, let's go ahead and pray right now, right? To end this thing. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Lord, thanking you so much for this live uh, opportunity to um, for, for me to get in other people's homes and for us to kind of come together um, and be able to pray together. Lord, 
Right now, Jean's mother is having a hard time with her blood pressure. Lord, be with her. Help her, God. Lower that blood pressure. Give her some peace, God. Um, uh, be with Jean and the whole family um, that's that's dealing with this. I know that it can be troublesome. Lord, let the doctors find out exactly what's going on with her. Lord, uh, for those that are having issues today, Lord, be with, with them. And Lord, we ask right now uh, that you be with the people of Israel, the people in Gaza that are dealing with this war. Uh, it's such a tremendous burden uh, on those families to deal with death and war um, and just chaos, God. So, Lord, please settle them down. Bring them peace. Uh, bring bring understanding and some sort of uh, negotiation that can stop this war, Lord. Um, Lord, thank you for family. Thank you for uh, Evan. Thank you for Denny. Thank you for Olive. Uh, Lord, thank you for all the people out there who's watching this right now, God. Lord, thank you for everything that you've done in our lives. We ask all this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So there you go. Um, Y'all, thank you so much. Again, um, look out for my new single. It's next week, October the 20th. Okay. Support me, man. Please, please. My family needs it. All right, so we love you guys, and uh, we'll see you the next time, okay? Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.